Hi guys, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel, Mini Reads, where I talk about books and things. And today I have a challenge that I've been wanting to do for such a long time and that is, do I have that book challenge? Now, I of course have seen this challenge but I have the memory of a goldfish and I just started working so I don't remember any of the questions which is really good. I did screen capture them on my phone. I think I have a vague memory of one of the questions and I think that this challenge is interesting because compared to most booktubers, I don't have that many books. I know it looks like I do because I sit like right in front, but this is this is basically it. This is what you see is what you get, you know? I have my uh, TBR shelf over there, which um, if I have to go over there, I'll just like speed it up and, you know, do something. I don't know, but we're gonna do this. I'm also... <laughs> I'm already tired and I haven't even started this. I'm also going to time myself. I'm going to put a timer on my phone. Timer is at 0.0, .0 and go. So let's see. Okay. Um, did you have a book with deckled edges? Do I have a book with deckled edges? Is this deckled? Oh, oh my god. My books are going to fall. Is this deckled? This is not deckled. Ugh! Deckled edges, deckled edges. Isn't that a thing that like hardcovers have? Do I have a hardcover with deckled edges? I love how I'm just like feeling up my books right now. Deckled edges, deckled edges. I know none of these do. This one, this one! Get out, get out! Uh, see? Deckled edges. Alright, so this is medicinal plants and, and curative plants and stuff like that. Alright, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Yes I do, yes I do, yes I do. One of these, one of these. Hang on, hang on. Ah! Oh my god, they're stuck. Alright, okay, here we go. Um, this is Among the Free by Margaret Peterson Hadix, and there's a bunch of people on the cover. Number three, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Okay. <laughs> okay, if I don't find another one. Okay, okay, here, here, here. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's hard because this mythology count? Wow. I don't think I do, but I'm gonna go with my first instinct. I'm gonna go with Good Omens because it's based on the Bible. Does that count? Oh man. <laughs> Alright, uh, number four. Do you have a book with a title ten letters long? Nine. Oh, it's nine! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why does everything have nine in it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh. Ninth house has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Ten letters. Those are the hardest ones for me. I can't count for shit. All right. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? I don't have. What is it? The one that everybody picks? Well, I don't have that one. No. No, I don't think I do. I, I mean, I, I have to. Okay, 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 this one definitely counts. Uh, okay. The small ang this the long way to a small angry planet, TNT. There we go. I'm gonna make such a mess with this. Do you have a mass par do you have a mass market paperback book? Yes, I do. Right here. Well, let's go with this one. This one. Bioshock Rapture by John Shirley. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Jane Austen, a I don't think Jane Austen is a pen name. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this because I don't know authors. Do I have anything by Riley Sager? Do I have anything by Riley Sager? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna count this. B.E. Schwab, because her name is Victoria Schwab, and she also writes by that name. So I think B.E. Schwab is her pen name for when she's writing adult fiction. I'm gonna count it. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Do I have a book with the title? Yes, I do. Where is it? Where, where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, man. I had to take all of this thing out. Sorry for the change of angle, had to change the battery. I stopped the, the timer. We were at five minutes with 16 seconds and I was just getting out the book with a character's name in the title. So I'm gonna hit play again 
and that is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Literally, the name of the main character. All right, next. Uh, do you have a book with two maps in it? Yes, 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 I do. And I just recently read that. I have, oh gosh, I have Horror Store, which has, where is it? Where, where are they? Okay, here's one map. And here's the other map. So it's got two maps. Ah! Do you have a book that was turned to a TV show? Yes, I do. I have The Last Witch, which is The Witcher by Andrzej Sokowski. Do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? A celebrity, athlete, politician, or TV personality? I do not think I do. Yeah, no, no, fuck. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, mm, 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 mm. all right, I think I have one, but I'm gonna look for something if nothing else comes. So I'm not big on reading like celebrity books. Okay, I'm gonna go with Spying on Whales by Nick Pison. He was famous in the, um, famous for, because he's a scientist, he's a paleontologist that studies whales. It counts. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Does this have a clock? Is she holding a clock? I think she's holding a clock. Let's see. No. Is this, it, I don't think this has a clock. No, this doesn't have a clock. Yes! Yep. The Magician King. Right there. A clock inside the tree. Do you have a poetry book? I do. Do I have any here? Do I have to go over there to get it? Okay, I'm going to go to my TBR shelf and I'm going to go get it. Here we go. Sylvia Plath, Ariel. Oh, a book with a award stamp on it. Yes, I do. I know this one has it. Winner of the Hugo Award, the fifth season. Do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? I don't think so. MB, MB. M, 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 M. I don't think I do. No, I, I, I'm pretty sure I don't have anybody with M and V. No, I, I don't. Okay, so that's a fail. Do you have a book? Do you have a book of short stories? I do. I have a lot of them. Do I have any of them here? Yes, I do. So this is the Oxford Book of Science Fiction Stories, which is just a book of so short stories. Do you have? A book that is between 500 and 510 pages. This is this. Fuck. No. Um. This, is, this does not look like 500 pages. That's the thing. Sometimes they look like they've got 500 pages, but they don't. No, this is 400. Yes. Yes. Did the acknowledgments count? If the acknowledgments counts, this has 511. But if the book, okay, so uh, I'm not gonna count this one. Okay, no. Because it's 511. Damn it. This looks like a 602 page book. Ah, oh, 520. Am I just gonna check all my books? No. Okay, maybe the name of the wind? No, I think this is 600. This is 800 pages. Jesus Lord. 498, you've gotta be shitting me. I seriously do not have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages. Nope. Okay, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm going with, with this one because if you don't count the acknowledgements, this has 510 pages. So we're gonna do it. That one's it. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie? It's not out yet, but it's coming out. I've got Dune. Do you have a graphic novel? I have one right here. Here we go. Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. Do you have a good, a book written by two or more authors? Do I have one? Do I have one? I don't think so. I do not think so. I mean, I have one that was illustrated by another author. Does that count? Does it count? Am I just cheating? Okay, no. I don't. So that was 16 minutes and 13 seconds. And most of that was spent looking for a freaking book 500 to 510 pages long. So let's look at how I did. Whew, 
I'm winded. There is such a disaster on the floor. So let's see the books that I got for the challenge. The first one is a book with deckled edges. Here you go, some deckled edges. That's, um, that is medicinal plants. It's just like a green witch book. The next one was, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? I do, that I picked. Among the Free by, my herder, my, by, by Margaret Peterson Hadix. Do you have a book based on another fictional story? I know this is kind of controversial, but I picked Good Omens by um, Carrie Pratchett and Neil Gaiman because it's based on the Bible. Take that as you will. Do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? And I picked for that one, I picked Nine House by Lee Bardugo. Do you have a book that starts and ends with the same letter? Yes, The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Do you have a mass market paperback book? And I picked Bioshock Rapture. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? And for that I picked V.E. Schwab because her name is, you know, she's using the pen name. It counts. Don't, don't even. Do you have a book with a character's name in the title? And for that I picked, if I can find it, among the disaster that is in my house right now, Dracula by Bram Stoker. Do you have a book with two maps in it? And for that I picked Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. And then do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? And I picked uh, the first book in the Witcher series by Andrzej Sakowski. Do you have a book written by somebody that was originally famous for something else? I picked Spying on Whales because Nick Tyson is well known in scientific community as a paleontologist. Again, it counts. <laughs> Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? I remembered I have The Magician King by Lev Grossman. Do you have a poetry book? And I do. I've got Ariel by Sylvia Plath. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? I have The Fifth Season by the one and only N.K. Jemison, and here is that wonderful winner of the Hugo Award 2016. Do, 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 do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you i do not do you have a book of short stories yes i do i've got the science fiction short story oxford book thing do you freaking have a book between 510 and 500 and 500 and 510 pages and i picked start site because if you don't count the acknowledgments it's got 510 pages precisely and that counts we're gonna count it also, the, the book tower is falling, so I'm gonna put it down. Do you have a book that was turned into a movie and I picked the one and only Dune that's coming out, I believe, in December? Do you have a graphic novel? For that, I picked Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. And do you have a book written by two or more authors? No, I do have a bunch of short story anthologies and stuff like that, but um, I could have picked one on my Kindle, but I don't have it physically, so. So now I'm left with this mess. L let me show you the mess. Hang on. So clearly my shelves are destroyed now, but I hope you enjoyed the challenge. I thought it was going to take me a lot shorter to do it. I thought I was like, I've seen a few of the questions, so I'm ready. I'm pumped, but I also didn't want to cheat. So I didn't like look at the books beforehand. Um, I wish I had looked for something between 500 and 510 pages beforehand. That would have been helpful, but I did the best that I could, you guys. And now I'm gonna get my shelves back in order. Look at them. They look sad. And <laughs> they look like there was an earthquake. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it. And without further ado, I bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. And that I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye. My bookshelves are such a mess.